It won't have escaped, you'll notice that from, 2019 every new Volvo, will come with an, electric motor to power, it in some way, or another cars such, as the XC60 T8, for example. It's a plug-in hybrid, or as Volvo grandly calls it, a twin-engine SUV. Of course, this isn't the first plug-in, hybrid that Volvo has, made. There have, been the slightly, underwhelming V60 D5, and D6 estates, and more recently the XC90 T8. In fact, you could say the XC60 T8 is just a smaller, version of the XC90 T8. Thanks to the scalable, platform architecture that, first appeared on the, XC90, this Volvo's underpinnings and, powertrain setup are near, enough identical to its big brothers. So there's a 2.0-liter four-cylinder petrol engine that's both super and turbocharged serving up 314 bhp that drives the front wheels, and there's an 86 bhp electric motor at the back driving the rears, all hooked up to an 8-speed automatic gearbox. In the XC60, though, the motor gets its power from a 10.4 kilowatt hours battery rather than the XC90 S 9.2 kilowatt hours unit, and this car can travel up to 28 miles on pure electric alone. Connect the XC60 up to a fast charger and it can be recharged in two and a half hours. That jumps to between three and a half and six hours if it's plugged into a domestic three pin socket. CO2 emissions are 49 grams per kilometer, while Volvo claims fuel economy of 134.5 mpg. Do the maths and you realize this SUV has 400 bhp. It's part of Volvo's aim to make plug-in hybrids seem attractive to a larger number of buyers, and 400 bhp and a 0-62 mph time of 5.2 seconds are enticing statistics. But that's only part of the story. The trouble is the XC60 never feels as quick as those numbers suggest. Switch the power in the drive mode selector and it's certainly fast and would give a Jaguar F-Pace S or a Porsche Macan Turbo a fright in terms of acceleration, but there's next to no drama. The problem lies with the rest of the XC60 range, because even the diesel-powered D4 and D5 and petrol T5 are comfortable but not dynamically outstanding. They float along and are at the opposite end of the premium small SUV segment to where the BMW X3, Jag and Porsche sit. Where the overly light and assisted steering and pronounced body roll aren't a problem for other XC60s in the range, they are for the T8 because its power suggests it's the performance model. Factor in grabby regenerative brakes and the T8 isn't fun to drive with enthusiasm. Attack some country roads and the car feels as though it's begging for it to end and instead settle down to a gentle cruise on the straight piece of tarmac. Moreover, drive the XC60 T8 with any vigor and the 28-mile electric range will disappear more quickly than a tin of quality street on Christmas Day. Switch over to the pure EV mode and it's difficult to regulate range with power when behind the wheel.